This is the Reality Radio Network on Telstar 5 Transponder 5 and on the Internet at realityradionetwork.com. For the second hour here, listener call in line 260-356-2611. That first hour went quick. Uh, it's talking about end times. And, you know, some people can have a real sense of humor about it, and it's kind of funny. And, and you know, that's, that's how my last caller is. And, and, you know, he actually attacks these people with a sense of humor. He sends them. <laughs> His T-shirt slogans and license, you know, bumper sticker slogans. It was really kind of funny. Um, but as far as the human toll this is going to take, folks, it's it's that's not a laughing matter. And this is, you know, Sherry. Yeah. Guess what? What? We have John on the phone. Oh, really? You got through? And I was worried about him. Yeah, I came on the weekend you? off. Hello, John. Well, good evening. How are you this evening? Good. How are you? Oh, excellent, excellent. I've been enjoying the show. You've got some great callers. Oh, it's gone quick. Some good people. And, uh, of course, the, the whole nation is uh, watching what's happening with Terry in Florida. Yeah. But uh, a, a little miracle occurred Friday that uh, she didn't die on Good Friday. Yeah. They missed their date. Isn't that funny? Because I kind of waited for that one, too. They missed their date. Uh, that means that even if she does expire, and I uh, hope that she doesn't, uh, go, they have missed their date, and it will backfire on them. How do you think it'll backfire? I'm not familiar with this cultic stuff. I just know it's there. Yes. Well, uh, when I had called in on Jan uh, in January, I had seen that date, uh, March 18th, mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, that is the date they pulled the uh, tube. I didn't know what it was about, but... There's been a, a lot of buzz about uh, her being a sacrifice. Yeah. And uh, although what is happening to her has happened to tens of thousands of people over the last few years, somehow she's become the symbol, and uh, she did not die. Yeah, well, you know, Bush signed legislation back in 99 as governor of Texas mm -hmm. that allowed uh, for these kinds of things to happen in Texas without over, over and above parents' objections, that the state could go ahead and, and remove tubes of disabled people. And so this is nothing new for the state of Texas. No. And, and, and but for some reason, the Terry in Florida, all of a sudden it's gotten national attention. Uh, people are standing up against it. Maybe it's because some law snuck in Texas, nobody said anything, nobody really understood what it was. I don't know. I never heard about it back then. It, uh, it, it's a miracle how uh, her case has focused the nation. Uh, people are coming awake. Yeah, and at the same time, they're getting ready to go to war with Iran and Syria. What's your thoughts on that? Very uh, frightening. Very yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be at the right place at the right time when something, in the next 911 happens here mm -hmm. uh, to justify the fact that he's, he's got I mean, uh, boys and girls over there. You know, he's got three, three vessels he's moved out over there, two, three fleets, uh, one in the Persian Gulf, two in the Mediterranean. Well, they've got Iran surrounded by U.S. bases. Uh, I just, you know, I've always known that North Korea is their prize. So why are they going with Iran and Syria? That's just an Israel thing, I guess, because, of course, we know Damascus is going to get leveled. Mm -hmm. 
That's prophesied. Never happened yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we knew Damascus was going to get leveled. Uh, but we, you know, uh, North Korea was supposed to be the nuking and the Holocaust of North Korea that brought in their Antichrist via the Blue Beam Project. Mm-hmm. So that one's still waiting to be, so it's to happen. There was, uh, they, they missed a, a, a date on Syria, too. There was a window of opportunity for them, according to their occult system, on March 23rd. And they missed that as well. Well, they wanted it last year, I think. I think when I when I posted that Miami code, mm -hmm. uh, it did exactly what it said it would do, and it delayed it. Because their original plans was to nuke Miami and blame it on the Syrians mm -hmm. and go after Damascus. Yes. And when I posted that Miami code all over the Internet looking like a complete idiot, I would have looked like an idiot, but I spared Miami a nuking. I believe that. Because when you expose their plans, they will cancel them, they will change them, they will stop them. And when I posted Bush's attempt at uh, planned assassination last year, two years ago in November, mm -hmm. they were exasperated uh, because they really planned here. They planned on assassinating him two years ago in November. And when I posted that code, I totally canceled it. It's the power of the truth. Yeah, when you expose yeah. what they're going to do. Uh, they can't work in the light. Yeah. And, and, you know, at times we look like complete idiots. But, you know, I'm not out there in a limb. I'm out there with the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, so might be the only one that looks crazy and stupid at the time, but a lot of a lot of their plans have been derailed. Mm -hmm. And look again with Terry Shadow, they missed their sacrifice date because Christians are praying. Uh, things will certainly backfire with that. I think we're going to see some amazing things over think, the next week. Think they'll let her live now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, um, <laughs> but I know that it won't work out the way that they had intended. Yeah, and that some great good will come out of all of this that was not intended but uh, they missed their date and well if that flips around that would be something else something anybody sees that one coming and uh, I, I think we should all keep praying yeah I mean that have faith I, I, I think they're just going to use it as a foothold and the welcome to the new world order mm -hmm. we're going to kill you if you can't feed yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, would target all elderly people incapacitated people uh, get rid of the Social Security soakers, people mm -hmm. that collect Social Security and, are, and you know, they're not according to their standards worthy of living. Did you ever see that uh, Susan Sarandon film, Lorenzo's Oil? No. Uh, it was about a mother, uh, or parents actually, a, a couple whose son had a fatal disease. And it's a wonderful story of faith. She would not give up, no matter what happened. And, in fact, she did find a treatment eventually that saved her son's life and went on to save the lives of tens of thousands of other children. It's, it's, it's a very uplifting film, and it's about faith and not giving up. Hmm. No, I never heard of it, but I know the star actor in that, um, well, that one guy. Uh, Nick Nolte? No. No. This, I can't think of his name, but he had dark hair. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just thinking of something else totally. I've never been uh, like a Hollywood buff into all this Hollywood stuff. Mm -hmm. And until I got under the alien agenda and realized that they were using all these science fiction movies to tell us stuff. Mm -hmm. And so then it started getting interesting to me. <laughs> 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 I had to go back and rent movies from back in the 80s. Uh, because in all these films, uh, the government releases info. They do. And there's always a, a, a underlying message that they're trying to get across. That they're, during throughout the movie, they release info through actors' lines that they repeat. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's interesting to go through these movies and just see what it is they're trying to reveal. Very much so. Um, and all of us have to be uh, fairly cautious about much TV watching. There is so much programming going on in all of the main programs. Oh, yeah. Uh, what they say, like every 33rd frame is a subliminal message. Yeah. 